So it's green, it's like a light green. They are green. Avocado here. <laughs> to my channel if you're new here I'm Izzy so um, today I'm going to eat green food for 24 hours and don't ask me but I don't know why I chose green food as my first food but I've been watching videos like this for so long and I actually find them really really interesting I kind of want to do a series of doing every single color and then I'm gonna see how that goes because I'm actually so excited to try like new things and new recipes as well everything I'm gonna eat today is hopefully gonna fit into my macros and my calories as well so I'm not going off track um, and I'm gonna say that 90% of it's gonna look green well gonna be green ingredients but some of the ingredients um, that I'm going to be using are not green, but the overall um, end result will be green. I have no food in the house, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go shopping. So yeah, let's go. I got them. I got one vanilla and one normal, both with almond milk. And it was so awkward because I interrupted him. I thought he was going to say, oh, um, do you want which are these yours and I was like oh I've got two matcha lattes with one vanilla please he was like oh I was just gonna ask you if you want to carry her or not <laughs> <laughs> got my matcha latte here so it's green it's like a light green but yeah matcha latte first item of 24 hours of green food I am so hungry so that's why I thought go and get a matcha latte before we head to the shops because I don't think I can wait this long That we need for today there is plenty of veg in here so i'm definitely not going to lack in that department i did find it quite difficult to find um green protein so i'm going to have to improvise and make some other things that i have at home but i found these green vegetable cheese and pesto sausages which i thought were quite interesting they are green so i think i'm going to incorporate that with um some pasta i'm going to have today because i found this um, spinach trottle pasta and I think it looks quite cool I've had green pasta before but I've not had this type of pasta before um, I did find some other things like pesto so I'm thinking definitely like a pesto pasta um, and also I found some spinach falafels yes they may not look as green um, on the outside but definitely they are green on the inside I've had them before and they are very very tasty um, I don't usually have avocados but I thought because it's green and we're having a green day I thought oh yeah let's have an avocado I'm not too sure yet so I might have it with a wrap or something um, I got so much other stuff um, I got cucumbers I've got green beans I've got frozen broccoli so yeah guys those are all the items i cannot wait to eat i'm literally so hungry it's between lunch and breakfast so it's kind of an awkward time so i don't know if i want something sweet or something savory it's kind of undecided at the moment so guys i'm going to make lunch now i thought i was going to make breakfast but i've decided i'm just going to go straight into lunch because by the time i have lunch it's going to be 12 o'clock so the first thing i'm going to do is going to make the spinach wraps i've made this in the past and they've actually turned out really really well and they're low carb as well so if you're looking for like a low carb alternative then these are literally so perfect so the first thing you're going to need is spinach and then for the wrap as well you're going to need egg whites the wrap is made entirely out of spinach and egg whites and it's green so it is perfect so i'm just going to measure out um 250 mils of egg whites that is perfect this is where i'm going to get my protein from because like I said before, today is going to be a lack of protein. So I've got to find it in other sources. And then you're going to need two cups of spinach. Two 
You can season the wraps if you want to. Um, I tend to just add some garlic and some all-purpose seasoning in there just to like flavor up, otherwise it's gonna be quite plain, you know? So I like to add some garlic puree in there. It's like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna use all-purpose seasoning here. And then I'm just gonna add some pepper as well. So I'm going to put the lid on and then blend. Right, so that is the mixture. It's nice and green. It looks like a smoothie, but don't drink it because it's literally egg whites. Um, but yeah, so all you need to do is heat up the pan and then we can um, make the wraps. I think this will make like three or four, depending how thick you want them. And then we've got the falafels. I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer for about 10, 15 minutes. It should be nice and crispy. And then I'm gonna crumble it um, and cut up some salad and cut up some avocado. And then, yeah, then the wraps will be ready. So while we wait for the um, wraps to cool down, I'm going to cut all the insides ready. So I've got the salad here and then I've got some avocado. I'm going to thinly slice this and then cut this as well. And the falafels. I may have left the falafels for a little bit too long and they're a bit black, but I swear they're green on the inside. Okay, and then hopefully they're going to be nice. But yeah, let's cut this ready for the wrap. Look how nice that avocado is. So I've got my burnt falafels here. They are slightly black, but I can assure you that they're green on the inside. Look. See? Green. So I have all my things here, and I'm going to go to the table and assemble with you guys. Right, so I've got all my condiments here and all my bits that I'm going to put into the wrap. Um, I've got some dressing as well. This is the honey mustard 10 calorie dressing. I know it's not green, but it's the only dressing that I have. Um, so I've got my two wraps here. Like I said, I was going to make four, but um, I messed up a couple, so I've only got two left. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my wrap. I'm going to put some salad here, so I've got my falafels here, oh my god, is this going to be good or, okay, and then I've got my avocado here, okay, so, I'm just going to, I think I overfilled it, crap, you get the gist, right? <laughs> So I just got a toothpick to keep it in place for now while I'm not eating it. Okay, well, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the next one, but just not fill out as much. There we go, see? A nice, decent wrap. So if you're wanting a low carb alternative, then I definitely recommend doing this. Right, I'm excited now because I'm hungry. So these are the wraps, the final. There would have been four, but there's not. <laughs> Cheers. I'm not. I'm not even joking. I felt like I just bit into a a Big Mac, like the flavour. It tastes like the veggie wrap from McDonald's. This is actually so good, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm literally shook. I don't actually remember it being this good because last time it wasn't actually, it was nice, but this was actually so much better. Right, that 
that's finished. I've completely emptied my plate apart from my cucumber. And honestly, no. I haven't even touched the cucumber. I didn't even want to eat it. I still got loads of salad left as well, so I'll just like keep it. But I am so full. I did not expect to be so full. Usually, the amount I eat, I'm not even full. But I think because the avocado has definitely made me fuller. And I don't usually eat avocado either. And also the fluffle. But honestly, I'm so happy how it turned out. It was actually really, really good. I'm actually surprised. I'm going to chill out, probably clean up a little bit. Because the blender needs a clean. And then I'll get back to you when I have either my snack or my dinner. Probably my snack, actually. I might make a smoothie. I'm back and I'm ready to have this. <coughs> I'm ready to have my snack now. Um, I'm gonna make a smoothie. It's gonna be um, a protein smoothie. It's gonna have spinach, banana, chai seeds. And I wasn't sure which protein I wanted to go for. I didn't know what was gonna be good. There was apple and cinnamon. There was vanilla. And then I've got white chocolate peanut. I'm craving peanut butter, but I don't wanna put peanut butter in here. So I'm gonna try this. And hopefully it'll work. Peanut butter, spinach, mm, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put the banana in first. I've got these super ripe bananas. So I'm gonna put it in here. And then I'm gonna do two cups of spinach and that's about 14 calories. There we go. And then I'm gonna put about 10 grams of chai seeds in here. So that's about two of these, I think. I measure everything usually, so I'm usually right. So that's 10 grams of that in there. And then I'm gonna put one scoop of protein in here. So I've got one scoop of protein, and then I'm going to add water. There you go, and blend. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not plugged in. Lie, but that does not look appealing to me whatsoever. <laughs> you probably think I'm so weird, but I'm doing a creatine load. I'm doing creatine loading this week, and I'm on my last day, so I need to put five grams in there. But that. Is a 10 out of 10 smoothie. It's so good. Oh. Because I don't want you guys to think I'm like overreacting on how good it is. I'm gonna make Sam try it. Sam, do you wanna try my smoothie? Yeah. Okay. Let me. Okay. Mmm, really good. Do you like it? Mm. It's sweet as well. It actually tastes so good. Oh, 10 out of 10, guys. I'm obsessed. Mmm, so good. Hello, the sun is setting, so there's literally no place in the flat where it's like not shining sun. Um, I just woke up from the biggest nap. You know when you go to sleep and you try and wake up, you actually like can't get up. That's literally how I felt. I want to try these. I love Little Moon so much. I've let it sit outside the freezer for about five minutes. So I really want something refreshing. Mm. So they're like this. They're not as green, but they are green. So they're like these little ones here. Can't smell anything. So that's what they look like inside. Are these ones vegan? No. Great. Well, that's not good. I should have read the package before because I just assumed they were vegan. Oh my God, they're not vegan. <laughs> I'm probably gonna fill this in the next 10 minutes. So it turns out I didn't actually record uh, me preparing the vegetables at all, but I actually just thinly sliced the um, courgettes to make courgette noodles. Then I just popped it in a pan and then I put the boiled um, broccoli into the air fryer along with the sausages. And then I'm just gonna season the noodles with some pepper, some garlic puree. This is literally the best one and the only one I use. And then I'm just gonna add some all-purpose seasoning as well to the noodles.
these sausages actually smell so good. They taste, they smell so pestery and so cheesy as well. Oh, just smells really not focusing, but yeah. These are the sausages. And then I'm just gonna cut up the broccoli as well. So there just seems like more of it. So I've got my zucchini here, it's nicely cooked. It's definitely reduced down for sure in size, um, but hopefully this will add some volume. I'm just gonna add the sausages and the broccoli. The pasta's still cooking, so um, I will add that in a minute. Right, the pasta's done, I'm gonna strain it and then I am going to pop it in here. Give that a nice little mix. And then I am going to get my pesto. So this is the pesto, give it a bit of a shake. I'll pop it in there and then I'm going to measure out 20 grams. That's the pasta done, so let's plate up. So I have the pasta here and I'm going to try it before I sit down because I need to charge my camera. It's literally like the dime is like flashing red. Okay, so this is the pasta. It smells so good. I haven't had pasta in such a long time and um, it's so exciting that I can have some. And even though I had only 50 grams, so one portion they recommend is like 100 grams, I put 50 grams of dry and that's actually quite a lot. I thought it was going to be like a little bit but it's actually not too bad. Um, I can't wait to try this. Okay, so I've got some pasta, some sausage, and some zucchini in there. There we go. Mm -mm. Look how good that looks. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but even that broccoli on the side of the plate is giving me the ick. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So today I've tried so many different recipes. And they've actually turned out so well. And I'm actually going to incorporate them into my daily food. Because this is so good. Oh my god. Some roasted broccoli. Mmm. Spot on. Okay. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see if I have any room for dessert. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna make, but I need about 50 grams of protein. <laughs> so I might make a matcha protein shake, but we shall see depending what I'm feeling. So guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Today I've eaten all green food and it's been a very enjoyable experience. There's lots of new recipes that I've tried today and they've turned out really, really well. This one, um, a bit meh. Once again, I did actually press record when I was making this. So um, I basically made a matcha protein shake with apple protein powder. It was not good. But overall, it's been so good and I've really enjoyed today and I cannot wait to try other flavors. Let me know in the comments down below what color you want to see next. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Turn on that notification button on so you get notified when I next post because I'm posting every single week now. So yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.